Well, it's good, yeah. So this is going to be a bit of a different kind of video, more of a... I am super grateful for the way they did this event, but also very confused about why they didn't openly state for one of a few of those things type of deal, right? So overall, as soon, basically story-wise, as soon as we went into the event store, right? We looked into the event store and it, it looked it looked all right. Obviously, Helga, uh, her artifact cost quite a lot. Mm, the rewards obviously were quite nice. And then we checked we checked out the quests right here. Huh? We went into the gala challenges and there's there's a couple of difficult challenges here, uh, no doubt, right? And you do need 60 cakes to get Idril. And if you count all the challenges and all the gala quests, right, uh, that you were able to do over these three weeks, so 10 every week and then the rest here, you should get 33, which means in total you were only able to skip out on one, maybe maximum two challenges. Now, as one of you might already be able to see is because if you're playing a test server account and a normal account and you do provide try to provide every piece of event content as best as possible you might end up with a situation like this right this is my own account i haven't cleared chapter better uh alpha i did on my own account and uh, it turned by i still need to do right so overall it was kind of in that situation of okay i might i might not actually be able to get the idris skin which is a situation that uh, some, if not most of you also might be in, depending on you perfectly doing everything or uh, not participating in it, right? But we did get overall eight more cakes and where we got those eight more cakes is going to be right here, these five from the Gala Point event and then from the Oleg event. I, I know ba basically, honestly, the Oleg event for those that still haven't done it is one of the best events possible. You just go in, you spend your gems and you're always going to get something more valuable than your gems besides maybe, maybe the experience and the gold boost. So you just go in, get your Oleg skin and spend the gems until you only have two fields left, which would be XP and gold boost. So this skin is super easy, it gives you 3 cakes in the process, so overall you're able to miss 11 cakes, which is definitely manageable. Even if you, like honestly, if you did all the daily quests and then you could skip out on all the difficult ones here and you would still be able to completely unlock this Idris skin, which is really, really nice. And also now that we did get 500 more uh, crafting material of the good ones, you can completely skip out on a total uh, on a complete story chapter, right? Like Alpha only gives 450 total, and we get 500 total. So if you combine that with the ease and uh, the accessibility of the tower, I think most of us should actually be able to uh, to get that one. So yeah, I don't know. In in this whole drama of stuff not working and stuff not being coded properly, I I'm just confused why they didn't quite so openly state uh the way that you can get more and and also this the whole thing with the tower right a lot of us were fearing oh how can you actually uh, get the exclusive artifact isn't it going to be super difficult and then they introduced the tower an equalized game mode where as long as you really tried you were able to like as long honestly most accounts anything past week two should be able to get at least 108 stars right here and throughout that 2800 of these materials so yeah i don't i guess it's kind of a thank you devs for allowing me to get the idris skin even though i wasn't completely faithful to the event and uh yeah this has already been it peace and bye bye